Good morning, everyone. We are headed back on the road. We have a quick mill ride adventure. We're going to bring you along. We are on site. This is a complete feed mill that was all on a old turkey farm. And this is right in the heart of downtown Peoria. This is very interesting to have this old farmstead still here. That is a restaurant right there. Right across the road is a Longhorn Steakhouse. You can actually see it right there. And this place, the guy said in probably a year and a half, this entire place will be completely bulldozed and made way for the future. Whether that's good or bad, that's up to you guys to decide. That's kind of interesting. This is a complete feed mill manufactured by Ross Equipment Manufacturing in Brownsville, Tennessee. You can see their tag there, RM. This unit is kind of unique. It has a old school scale, beam scale. You would put in your product here, you know, 200 pounds of beans, 100 pounds of corn, whatever, you would come up with 300 pounds. Then that would get augered up into the hammer mill right here. And then the hammer mill would discharge into the mixer. You would do your mix, put your additives in, and then you would pump it out the auger into your wagon and go feed your turkeys or horses or whatever. It's kind of interesting. These are normally rotted out because they always did the in-the-floor sump, and that was kind of a joke. This is the old beam scale. They still manufacture stuff like this today. This dump hopper, Sudengay, is a new manufacturer, and they have stuff like this. And I've seen other equipment manufacturers that have similar setups. It's all so you can get your ration, and you grind it and mix it. The RM system. It's a complete system. Kind of interesting. Enough rambling for me. We need to get started. First thing I've got to do is document this so we can resell it and get our equipment unloaded, which our helper Aaron is working on right now. property said since the buildings were going to be torn down in a year that we could just cut this post off that was in the way of the mixer so that's what we did unfortunately the camera died so you weren't able to see us bring it completely over but we got everything out safe and sound mr aaron is tying down his trailer and i am going to put the forklift on mine and with that ladies and gentlemen another one bites the dust this was a cool old farm. We actually met one of the original daughters that ran this as a kid. She was sad to see it go, but happy that someone else was gonna get a blessing because it would have been munched up by the next owner. And all of this will be removed, bulldozed, flattened off, and turned into commercial stuff. Longhorn Steakhouse is across the road like I talked about. It's not my place, but I'm hoping 
they come through and get all of these antiques out, like the old way scale there. It's the Detecto. I love it, and it still works. Very cool. Don't know what they would have done with that, but very interesting. Another one is over with. Another successful Wildcat Willy adventure. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a big favor. Hit that thumbs up. That really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new and share the videos on your social media. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and we'll see you next time.